what a difference a game makes. The Colorado Avalanche were all over the Blues in the opener, piling up scoring chances at will. The only thing keeping the game close was their persistence with hitting the post, which they did four times. It was a much different story in Game 2 though, as St. Louis made life very difficult on Colorado from start to finish. They spent much more time on the front foot and did a good job of neutralizing Colorado's speed through the neutral zone. It felt like Colorado always had a player or two on top of them, forcing them to get rid of the puck before they really got going. The end result was a very convincing three goal win for St. Louis. So where does that leave us now in game three? Probably in the middle. St. Louis are not as bad as they looked for much of game one, while Colorado are far better than they showed us in game two on Thursday night. If we crunch some numbers here, Colorado has controlled 57.6 of the expected goals at 5 on 5. Probably a little more telling. The Avs have been the better team at full strength as a whole, and I'm expecting them to remain this case over the course of this series. If they can stay out of the box and keep a lethal St. Louis Blues power play off the ice, they should be able to claim a series lead on Saturday. I know again, it's juice to be paid here, but I feel that the Avs do win this one. They are at minus 160. That's going to be the play between Colorado and St. Louis in game number three. We are going Colorado minus 160. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your take. Whatever it is you do, Taylor Fade, honestly, good luck, as we're all here for the same reason, to get that cash. Take care, all, and we will see you in the next video. This is... Trending Rabbit.